why I like to call myself a professional dream hater. I think he's an egotistical, narcissistic moron whose actions and behavior constantly make him look even more of a moron by the minute. But I am somebody who likes to give someone the benefit of the doubt when given the opportunity. And I think with these allegations about him being a groomer and a p-word, I just want to give him at least the slightest bit of the benefit of the doubt because YouTube already has too many fucking p-words in the entire scene as it is to begin with. I don't want Dream to end up becoming another one, even though even though I don't really like him all that much. So for those of you who don't know, for the past I think about like year maybe since maybe like the beginning of these of this year actually, allegations about Dream being a groomer and trying to you know get with kids have been around for a little while. Dream has taken the decision to for some reason just not respond to any of that whatsoever and has been trying to ignore it as much as possible. But with these recent allegations that came out of, with him sending some really creepy videos on Snapchat, especially after he had recently just gotten his ass beat by the voice actor for Gumball, people are speculating whether or not the evidence that has been shown on Twitter from the person who came out with these allegations and these, and these pieces of evidence are even true to begin with. And again, I kind of want to give him the benefit of the doubt because these videos and the evidence that's been shown online on Twitter so far from all last night pretty much could easily be doctored they can easily be faked it's not that hard to fake just some random guy moaning into a microphone on like a black screen and changing your snapchat profile to look exactly like dreams it's not that hard to do that but on the off chance that it is true that he did send these videos and even on his private twitter account that he sort of responded to the allegations about and even on his main twitter he kind of responded to this as well he kind of makes it seem like that the videos are true but the person in context that he sent these to was of age and it wasn't someone who was under the age of 18 so i guess we'll just have to wait and see for whenever dream releases his video because he released a series of tweets on both his private account and on his main account that he was going to be working on a video with presumably a bunch of evidence that proves uh the contradictions of what have been made against him since all these allegations have been coming out in the first place but the only thing i really have to say about this is that if dream is so confident that he didn't do the things that people were saying that he did and that the allegations that were made against him are 100% fake why hasn't he responded to this much sooner that's what's so weird about this and he's only responded to these allegations now after the these videos have been posted on twitter and of course he's obviously going to talk about the whole situation with the actor for gumball as well uh nicholas uh Cantu, I think his name is, Nicholas Cantu. He's going to talk about that as well. He's going to you know, explain more of the context of the situation, even though he's already given more than enough evidence to talk about the situation that happened with the series of tweets that he made on Twitter and Nicholas Cantu talking about it as well. Honestly, I just don't really know what to think because I kind of want to wait for the video to come out. Maybe I'll make an update video talking about his video that comes out after this is released, or maybe it'll come out later tonight and I'll have to go ahead and just insert, you know, editor me in and talk about like, whatever it is that he says in the video no matter how long the video actually is we'll wait and see whatever he has to say with, within the video but honestly like i said i kind of want to give him the benefit of the doubt despite me not liking him in any way whatsoever not liking the content whatsoever and thinking that he's just an absolute moron to begin with that can't handle the level of fame that he's at i don't want him to be a groomer i don't want him to be outed as being a really creepy person and that goes after children because like i said Minecraft especially, the Minecraft community in terms of content creators has already gotten so many people outed for being child molesters. It's just like, I don't want it to happen again. I don't want Dream to be outed as being, you know, a P-word, but if it is, he needs to get off the platform. But even then, I feel like even if he does release this video and completely exonerates himself from the entire allegations that have been made against him for the past year or so, I think he needs to go ahead and leave the entire social media scene for an extended amount of time because he has just not been reacting to this level of fame properly and his whole his whole reaction to the whole thing with Nicholas Cantu as well his whole like attitude and behavior around that and some of the shit that he says has been really f weird and fucking stupid I think Dream honestly just needs to take a break from the internet for a little while uh who knows how long he would uh, take a break for but he definitely needs to it's kind of like what i said in the replies for infernal omni's twitter account when he was talking about the colleen ballinger and her apology when she came back with uh, a new vlog and stuff i talked about how she definitely needs to like take a break from the internet i think dream needs to take the same thing i think he needs to take a break spend time with his friends and his family seek some psychiatric evaluation talk to a therapist and 
really get his mind straight before he even decides to want to like continue to keep making content because the rate that he's at right now who knows what could potentially happen to him if he continues on this path because him continuing to keep getting into these allegations and the situations with different people regardless of the fact that they're content creators or not or they're just like actors from the industry such as a voice actor of all things it's really messing up his mentality and his mental health and i think he really desperately needs to look after that for the time being and i wish him the best of luck you know if he's able to prove himself innocent but if he can't he just needs to get the fuck out and just never come back that's pretty much all i have to say about the situation it's been really weird. I don't know what's going to happen in the foreseeable future, but on the off chance that this comes out after his response, obviously I'm going to throw in editor me to talk about the, what he actually had to say in the video. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Let's